How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and another episode of live grading where you'll be able to watch me color grade on the spot and what I'm about to create today is a rendition of the teal and orange look but we're going to have deep tones in the cyan and we're going to have perfect crisp skin tones. Before we get started don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and let's begin. Now if you've been watching this series you've noticed that I like to put the bleach bypass effect in my timeline node but for the sake of this grade I'm gonna keep it in my node tree just so that way I'm not going back and forth so go into my composite mode click overlay take this lower node and bring it down to zero and now for this footage I'm gonna go into my exposure slash contrast node and start to push it I'm mainly looking at his skin because I want to bring out as much detail in there maybe somewhere around there maybe bring the pivot higher so I'm mainly looking at the wrinkles of his skin trying to bring it back yeah it's looking pretty good do before and after and maybe make some slight adjustments with my primaries here I don't want to make it too dark but I'm liking what we're already getting right here. Maybe perhaps bring the lift up a bit and then bring my gamma down. But I don't want my shadows to be flat, so I want to have a good lift gamma balance. Somewhere right there is pretty good. Before, after. And actually, if I want to, I can go into my HDR palette, go into my light, make a little adjustment, maybe something like that. Again, I'm mainly just looking at his hand and just bring down a little bit of that exposure. Let's see, before and after. Perfect. Now, a lot of people will stop here, but I want to keep going. I want to see what more we can do with this. So I'm going to go into my look, go back into my primaries, and start adjusting. Yeah, that's a slight tweak, but I'm liking what it's doing. And now I'm going to go into my HSL curves, and just play around my hue versus hue. Let me go into my waveform, see if I have perfect skin. I almost do. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. I really want it right in that line as much as possible. So let's see. Yeah, that's good. And maybe adjust my cyan or my teal. And now I'm going to my hue versus set. See what I can do with this skin. Push it far, then dial it back. Yeah, that's good. And now everything else. It's actually a perfect split tone, as you can see right here. And the thing about perfect split tones is I don't want one side to be longer than the other, so maybe somewhere around here is pretty good. Sitting pretty even. Maybe bring it back just a tad. It looks like a very serious deep tone here. But actually we can go into our hue versus luminance and bring that out even further. So let me go into here and see what else I can do. I'm liking what it's doing here, so. And now for our skin. Not that big a difference, but I'll leave it right here. And maybe the hand is sitting a little too bright compared to his jacket. So let me go back into my contrast, go into my light, and make some more adjustments. Maybe somewhere around here. 
yeah, his, his hand was sitting a little too hot. I like this a little more. So let me go into my power window, and I'm going to make his entire arm stand out just a little bit from the rest. Now the next step to give that authentic film look, I'm going to go into my smooth note that I created here and bring the detail down to like maybe negative 15. Let me see. Yeah, it's taking the digital edge out of everything here, so I like that. Now I'm going to go into my grain. Effects here. Bring this film grain preset. I like to do 35 millimeter 200T. Composite type, I'm going to leave this at overlay. I don't want the grain to be too overbearing for this one, so let me bring this up. Texture, grain size like that. Maybe bring the softness down just a little bit. And overall, I'm going to bring my global blend down to like maybe 0.6 something. Now let's watch the whole clip. It might be a bit choppy, but that's okay. So yeah, another quick and simple color grade. Now this split toning was relatively simple because we only really had one other color scheme compared to everything else. If you guys want to see more of a challenging split tone, let me know in the comments below. And for everyone else, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.